Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to linuxhint.com YouTube channel. So today what we are going to do is that we are going to uh, install LAMP stack on our Ubuntu 19.04. Alright, so what we are going to do is that first of all we will install Apache server, then we will install um, MySQL and obviously on MySQL we have done uh, a video already so I'll put a link uh, in the description to that video and then we'll install PHP and then we'll install PHP my admin as well okay so let's start so first of all I have you know written out written down all the commands here as well so I'm gonna put these commands in the description as well so do not worry so the first step uh, in installing LAMP stack is that you have to install Apache 2 server right so for that you press Control alt T and you'd open up your terminal um, I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit then what we're gonna do that first of all we are going to update okay so we just paste this command here and uh, it is going to ask us for the password we'll put in the password and it would update our Ubuntu repositories and everything okay so once it updates it then after that we are going to install Apache 2 all right So once you have updated it, now let me just clear it. And uh, now we'll try to install Apache 2, all right? So we'll go back here, we'll uh, paste it right here. And you can see that it has basically installed it. So I already have Apache 2 on my system. When, when you'll be installing, probably it would ask you for the option Y and N, yes or no. So in that case, you press Y and then you hit enter and you would continue, okay? So now let's move on to the next step. So the next step is that we are going to adjust the firewall to allow the web traffic. Okay, so for that we have these two commands. So first of all, we are going to uh, list all the applications available. All right. So we hit enter and you can see that we have Apache full here. Um, so what we're going to do is that we're going to allow uh, the web traffic to this Apache full. So we come here, we just copy this command from here. We go back here, we paste it. So remember that I'm, go I'm going to put these commands in the, in the description as well, okay? So you don't have to worry, just focus right here and then you can go in the description and then you can just simply copy those commands and work with them, all right? So that, that's it. Now what we're gonna do, is uh, that we are going to run one more command um, and in that command would basically allow the HTTP and HTTPS traffic uh, for for this profile okay so what we're gonna do we're just gonna copy this command and we're gonna come back here and uh, we're gonna paste it okay so we hit enter and you can see that basically we have um added the rules i have already added this rule so that's why it's saying skipping adding existing rules but when you'll be adding it for the first time it would give you some sort of different um output okay so we clear it and then after that we go here and uh, we test if the apache server has been installed or not so we go here on the local host and you can see that it works right so apache 2 server on our Ubuntu it is installed so now uh, what we're gonna do is that uh, the next thing that we're gonna install is MySQL okay so the idea is that uh, in the previous video that we have uploaded uh, that was related to MySQL okay so in that video we have installed MySQL on Ubuntu 19.04 so what I would recommend you is that you go on and you watch that video for MySQL installation. So we're going to put link in the description to that video. Okay. So that you can go and you can watch that video. All right. So now come here and uh, now we're going to install uh, PHP. So for that, we'll just copy this command from here. And after copying, we just go back here in our terminal and we paste it. So you can see that it has started to install PHP. And uh, obviously I have already uh, installed it, installed it, I already have it. So when you will be installing for the first time, it would give you an option yes or no. So you press Y and you hit enter and it would 
basically install after uh, you know a few minutes or if you have a fiber connection a faster connection maybe in, in a few seconds okay so now what we are gonna do is that the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to modify this file okay so we go ahead and uh, we open this file with the root privileges we paste it here we hit and so now uh, what you're gonna do is that you're just going to move this index.php you're gonna cut it and you're going to move it right here in the beginning okay so yes that's it so you go ahead and you save this save this file with the root privileges and uh, then after that you go on and you basically restart your Apache 2 server okay so for that you have this command system CTL restart and you hit enter and basically it restarts so now after restarting we want to know the status of Apache 2 so for that we would copy this command sudo system CTL status Apache 2 so we paste it right here we hit enter and you can see that the status of the service is is active okay so we control C we come out of it and now uh, what we're gonna do is that we are going to basically test the PHP whether it works or not so for that what we, we what we can do is that we can create a PHP file all right so how do we create a PHP file is that we go here and we clear it first and this is the basically directory uh, the HTML directory um, of the Apache server and uh, here we are going to give a file name let's say we give here the file name as um, new file dot PHP we hit enter so what it would do that on this path it would create this PHP file uh, new file dot PHP okay so now so inside here you write here PHP and uh, you basically close it and then inside of that you write echo hello this is PHP testing okay so after that you put here a semicolon you save it and then you uh, go ahead so now here from here you put a slash and then you write here the file name which is essentially new file dot php and you hit enter and you can see that on the output we have hello this is php testing so our php is basically uh, it's it's working so now what we're going to do is that we're going to install uh, php my admin so for that we have this command sudo apt install php my admin so we'd go to our terminal and we paste it we hit enter and you can see that it has started to install php my admin so i do not have php php my admin installed already so i'll press y i hit enter and you can see that it has started to install it and obviously it is downloading it so it would take a while to download okay so we will wait so after installation you know you would see this configure uh, configuring PHP my admin um, option so in here you need to select Apache 2 because that's the server that we are using so we hit ok and it would keep on uh, processing it all right so now basically it is telling you that um, you know uh, you have all this thing here configuring PHP my admin it is giving you the information that whatever you need it's in the file user slash share slash doc slash php my admins okay so note down that and then you hit okay so it says configure database for php my admin with db config common so you hit yes and obviously you need to um, mysql or obviously it is installed in my system so uh, for you if you haven't installed mysql to this point then go back watch our video that the link is in the description and then come on this step okay so now we're gonna put in our mysql application uh, password and we're gonna hit ok and uh, then it is going to say confirm password so we do the 
After completing the installation of uh, PHP My Admin, what you've got to do is that you have to reset or restart the Apache server. So you restart the Apache server and then you basically copy this file from here. So this is the path and you got to copy it. So after completing the installation of uh, PHP My Admin, what you've got to do is that you have to reset or restart the Apache server. So you restart the Apache server and then you basically copy this file from here. So this is the path and you got to copy it, okay? So after copying this file, uh, phpmyadmin slash apache.config file to our Apache 2 server file. So we have got to copy this apache.config file from phpmyadmin to apache2 folder, all right? So we copy it there and then we basically run this all right so you can see that it has enabled the configuration of php my admin so then obviously uh, it is saying that you need to reload apache 2 so it basically restart apache 2 like this from here so it go here and we paste it so after pasting it we would come back to our browser and in here uh, in the local host, what we would do that after local host, we'd write here slash php my admin. We hit enter, and you can see that there you go with the php my admin. We have installed php my admin successfully on our system. So, in this video, we have seen how to install LAMP stack, um, and in that, we have seen how to install, um, you know, this one php my admin. Um, we have given you the link to in the description to MySQL video uh, that we just created separately and we have shown you how you can install PHP and also we have shown you how you can install the Apache server. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any questions, ask us in the comments below and we will see you in the next video.